Hello, I'm Steve Barney. You can call me a pothead. Ah, it takes why? Enough. Because no one else in the world can do it. You know, I'm not a big fan of dogs. <laughs> He's a good boy. Uh, Generally don't wear a dress when we hang upside down because we're working with this thing called gravity, right? I'm good for your touch. How are you doing over there, Steve? I'm doing great. Are you okay with this? I guess you are. You really are the mad potter. <laughs> <laughs> that is never making air. <laughs> but first, a shout out to our sponsors. Doris Electric Services, lighting up the Gulf Coast since 2004. H.L. Raymond Properties, the Gulf Coast's hottest real estate company. You might have seen them on HGTV, and I can proudly say they sold my home. SNL Office Supplies, specializing in print and promotional products. They can put your logo on just about anything. Maxim Health Urgent Care, with locations across the South, including Flowood, Hattiesburg, Orange Grove, and Ocean Springs, there's bound to be one near you. Guess what? We are now having a giveaway at the end of every single webisode of Miss Congeniality, so make sure to watch all the way to the end to find out what and how. Hello and welcome to Miss Congeniality. I'm your host, Jamie Doris, and today's special guest is the modern Mad Potter of Mississippi. He is an inventor, an engineer, and he's crazy obsessed with creating pottery machines. You've probably seen him making pottery upside down all over television, but just who is the man behind the mud? Well, we're gonna check it out and see. Introducing the one and only Steve Barney. Hi. Welcome. We got a few projects going on in here I'd love to show you. Come on into my workshop. All right, Mad Potter. <laughs> you don't mind getting dirty, do you? I love to get dirty. Really? Yeah. Does your wife like that? Uh, my wife and I split about five years ago. And you know the reason... Is it because you get dirty? No, it's because of me splitting with her that I'm doing all this. If I was still married, I would never be doing all this fun stuff here now. So really? it's all good. Yeah. My mission is to take everything that I learned since playing with clay and building things since I was a young kid, taking it all together, everything I've learned from all my teachers, and then giving back to the kids of Mississippi. We're teaching about science and engineering through the experience of making pottery, and we're having a blast doing it. Watch your you step, because there's a lot of dangerous ah, stuff. So I bought this building. <laughs> I bought this building last September and it came with all this equipment in it. You couldn't even walk around here. So we're going through. All of this? Oh! Yeah. Can we get on this? Let's sure we can. Them. Yeah, sure we can. Am I freaking you out? It takes a lot to freak me out, but I'm not sure the pedals <laughs> will turn all the way. The pedals are not going to turn. But the idea here is that we're teaching kids about different ways to power the pottery wheel. So this bike is hooked up right now it's not hooked up but it hooks up to a big flywheel that turns the pottery wheel so we have solar power we have wind power we have human power a big hamster wheel bicycle power so we teach the kids about power momentum propulsion how much power you need to power the pottery wheel well you need a lot because this thing's not going well everything's broken right now jamie <laughs> I mean, everything is broken. Yeah, that's, what I saw. Right. So, that's how you figure out what's wrong is you break it and then you fix it, right? He's uh he's interesting. All right, you what's are... this? Well, this is a bar oh. that allows you to hang upside down because I am the only potter who hangs upside down uh. anywhere in the world. Uh. Oh, it's pretty good. Now, I, how do you, how you get upside down? Well, what you do is you put a climbing harness on like at the rock gym, right? And then you attach this cable to you and then it winches you up there, right? Ooh. So you can hang upside down. And you do pottery like this. Yes, you do. And it takes Why? An because no one else in the world can do it. Well, right? Steve, this is weird. Okay. Okay. That's right. Oh. But weird is good. <laughs> yeah, he's a good boy. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got to hand it to you, Jamie. <laughs> So do you find that you're one of the few weird people in Mississippi? Uh, Bay St. Louis is like an island of misfit toys. We're uh, collecting <laughs> weird people all over the place here. Misfit toys, misfit toys, misfit toys. Ah! You said you don't sing. No, I'm letting you sing. You're carrying the lines. I'll do the dance moves, though. I know. Let's check out your pottery. Okay. Oh, we don't want to open that yet. That's Pod hot. Kiln. You know what? It's cooling down, though. And every time you open the kiln, it's like Christmas time, right? Opening your Christmas presents. Sometimes you're disappointed, sometimes you're ecstatic, but it's always fun to see what it's like. Here, wait, let's take a Can sneak peek. Let's take a sneak peek. Look in here real quick. Oh, 
beautiful. Ooh. It's still cooling down, so we better close it back I like the, the turquoise one in the back. Yeah. That one's beautiful. Well, we might have something else in that color just for you. Woo! Let's go in the studio, and I'll show you where it all starts. Hello, puppy. Hello. This is Sophie, the studio dog. Hello, Sophie, the studio dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just has to check us out. What's up? What's up? We're in the studio. Oh, are these your glasses? Sophie Talk got about being a misfit. <laughs> that's right. Hey, that's a good look for you. Hello, I'm Steve Barney, the misfit toy. We're going to make, well, I don't know, Jamie. You tell me. You're directing this, so <gasps> this clay can be whatever you want. Now, there's two fundamental shapes. There's a cylinder, which would be like a vase, or there's a bowl that has a parabolic bottom. Again, we have all this physics involved in the way that the pod is constructed, right? So I want to form this. How about a bowl coffee cup? A bowl coffee cup. I got it. I got gotcha. you. It's going to be a big one. It'll I be hope. a big, it's, it's for it's gonna be like coffee a drinkers like me. Okay, like we'll take you over to the Mockingbird. We'll get you like eight espressos in here, right? And that'll get you fired up, right? It's going so. to be called the Queen Coffee Cup. So these are different pieces that we make on the 3D printer for different restaurants, Lazy Magnolia. Um, and you can put it on the there. Seahorse. Yeah. Do you have a crown? Well, I think that, you know, the Mystic Crew of the Seahorse had a little crown here. We can make a crown for you. We can, we can make a crown, yeah. I don't want it to be difficult. Oh, come on, Jamie. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try and make a handle for this yes. Queen's Coffee mug now? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. we got to do all this for a handle. Oh, is this the clay? That's right. Let me just tighten this up here. Okay. It's all right. Take your time. I'll just hang out. Oh, look at that. What do you wear with this? Like, what's your getup? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> Just seeing if you're paying attention. Oh my! We got a we got a few costumes to go. You know what I that. envisioned? I envisioned you wearing this and then painting your whole body silver, <laughs> like they do in Brazil. I I have some uh, body paint pictures I could show you. They're probably uh, not for the whole audience here though. Okay, now take this clay. Okay, take it. Shove it in that. Shove it in there. Push it down. Push it go. all the way down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna put this in here. Okay. This is like you need. You need like strength to do this. Okay, stuff. you're gonna. We'll see how strong you are. I might need to help you now. Push down. We gotta push down. Ah! You okay? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, come on, pull. Where's oh, our? Oh, I gotta clip? keep going. Yep. Keep, there's our handle. There we go. Here's our handle. This is weird. Okay. This is. Okay, that's good. Weird. Why did we need to do all that when we could just form it with our hands? Well, because my motto is. Anything that's easy, figure out a way to make it more complicated. I've noticed. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Is that handle big enough for what we're doing? That's, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Well, as far as the physics yeah. go, it needs to balance with it, right, and support yeah. the weight yeah. of all the coffee. Exactly. And technically, you'd want the walls of the handle to be as thick as the walls of the pot so that the expansion rate would be the same and so that you'd have enough strength here. So again, there's physics involved in everything we're doing, right? That is so neat. It's not just art. No. You've got to think about this. That's right. It's kind of like making a show. Exactly. You know, I got to get dirty. Like, I'm not dirty enough. How well, are you going to get me dirty? Well, I was thinking that we could actually have you try on the pottery wheel, too, if you'd like. I think that's a great idea. We could recreate the scene from Ghost. Remember that scene, Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore? Is that really appropriate? No, How but it's it? so iconic. You know, everybody, when you tell people, you probably like, oh, you mean that scene with Patrick Swayze and Debbie Moore? I'm like, no, yeah. it's nothing like that at all. Well, how does the scene go? <clears throat> oh, my love, my darling, I've hungered for your touch so long. Lonely time and times goes by so slowly and <laughs> time can do so much is getting creepy. Oh, are you? 
<laughs> You've been waiting to do that with someone. Jamie, I'm the only potter in the world who makes pots in the shape of their head. Someday they're going to be worth a lot of money. <clears throat> that doesn't come off. I was going to put it on your head. Are you yeah. okay with this? I guess you are. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm worried yeah. about the microphone <laughs> more than anything. Okay. Yeah, we got to get that. Oh, you really got to get it on there. Nice and slippery, right? Okay. Nice and slippery. Okay, Is this good? good? That's good. That's good. Okay, okay. now okay. let's give, give, I need your help here. Oh, hold it from the top. Hold, hold it from, from the, the top. top. Yeah. Okay. Ah. There we go. Oh, that's going to be a great, great pot. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but that's good. You can call me a pothead. <laughs> he really is the mad potter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Are we stuck? <laughs> Wait, careful. We don't want to ruin it. Oh, it just made the wobble even better. I want That's that. It's a masterpiece. It okay. is. It even has, like, your hair marks. You want to see what these look like when they're finished? Sure. Okay. Can I wash my hands? Yeah, I think so. Right. <laughs> Lo doesn't want me to wash my hands. How's that? How's that? I still need to wash my hands. <laughs> Is it all made out of your head? A few of them, not all of them. But this pot over here, Jamie, this is the first head-shaped bowl. Now you can see it's really thick, it has a crack in it. But I'm waiting for my friend whose idea it was, and this is going to be a gift to her, but really this is a museum piece. As you can see, over time I got better at it. This is actually one that I made out of my head as well. So you see we went Your head from... got bigger. Yeah, well. Yes, my head has gotten bigger. We all know that you can do pots on your heads. What's your secret talent? I can do some crazy yoga stuff. I could, yeah, we can. Uh, you can do crazy yoga stuff? We'll go to the yoga studio and we'll do <gasps> oh, some crazy Oh, you can, you can stand stuff. on your head. Yoga studio. What's going to fall out of my pockets? I'm not really sure. So I guess we found my secret talent. Ah! <laughs> that is never making air. <laughs> well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the show in meeting Steve Barney over here. Um, <laughs> if you have any other ideas, if anybody else I can interview next time, please drop me a line, let me know. And as always, love yourself, be yourself, and let's all keep Mississippi beautiful. Goodbye. And you know what we haven't talked about yet? What's that? Your giveaway. What are you going to give away? Yeah, okay, so, you know, here at the Creative Arts Center, we teach classes, wheel throwing and hand building. We're going to give away a gift certificate for someone to come take a free class and get muddy like you did. And in addition to that, we're going to give them a couple little pots that are already made as one of a kind mementos. High five. You're awesome. High Thank ten. you so much. Thank you. Let's do it. Well, be very careful. Yes, sir. Very careful. Me. Totally careful. Let's okay? go this way. We're going to go this way? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I told you. It's oh, my. Remember, your support of Miss Congeniality is helping the environment. Why? Because we're donating a portion of all proceeds to organizations that are keeping Mississippi beautiful. So keep watching, keep liking, and keep sharing.